Hey guys, welcome to my first and very official political video.、Um, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about the、uh, really tense situation in Germany because I'm pretty sure it doesn't get American news coverage, and it's seriously worrying.、Um, yeah, I mean you have your own problems. You have. Uh, Trump to not vote for president. I mean, please, 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 please. Everybody who is not a U.S. citizen is terrified of what will happen to the world should this idiot become president. So I don't care how how bad the competition is. Anything is better than Trump. Just, I mean, you probably know that. Um, but still, please. Okay. This was my message to people who can vote in America.、Um, now my message to people who can vote in Germany.、Um, Germany has been dealing with、um, getting a lot of refugees in from different countries,、uh, from Syria mostly, and、um, states along that region、um, who are fleeing the、um, the war zone that is. That used to be their country,、um, and uh, also from uh, from our east,、um, like、uh, the states before Russia,、uh, which are all well, most of the population is seriously impoverished, and there's just no future there. So they come to Germany because Germany is rich and、uh, offers good prospects, and basically. Um, millions of people have been coming here, and、um, uh, that has been the main thing happening in in German media for a while now.、Um, and because people are incredibly stupid and afraid, and just the wrong people are. Are regaining、um, a position in society where they can spread their incredibly dangerous ideals.、Um, I mean, after our last elections, Germany is now once more a country that has、um, right-wing parties in our par- parliament. I mean. Really, Germany? Did you not learn anything? Ah,、oh. I mean, really, it's uh, it's ex, 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 it's extremely worrying and horrible. And I just, <sighs> I mean, my sister is sort of really active in the left wing. I just pointed to the right. I um, it might be mirrored. I have no idea. Um. <laughs> My sister is very active in the left wing movement,、um, so she's been rallying against、um, their own protests because they get to walk around now singing、uh, Nazi songs, essentially, and waving the German flag. They're allowed to do that because this is a democracy, <sighs> and I do believe that people should be allowed to have their own opinions and that they should, you know. Get to be stupid if they want to be, and even you know talk about it, and without being afraid of being shut down. But seriously, really, we have like rallying marches of hundreds of people who are seriously, seriously Nazis. I mean, what the? I mean, nah. It's Germany. Why is Germany not wiser? I mean. Really, we have like the single most exclamation point history ever. I mean, really, if we don't learn, who will? <sighs> okay, I just needed to like to tell you because obviously、um, this right wing party is not、um, the most popular party, and、uh, because a lot of people are. Very worried.、Um, they have also been voting green, for example, which is great.、Um, it's our very 
uh, environmentally focused party. Um, I voted green. I always vote green. Um, so that's at least something. And obviously they're the, the more populist um, parties, which is the wrong term for it because the, the Nazi people are using populist. But, you know, the, the actual, you know, normal middle parties. I don't know how to say that. Um, they've also been, um, they've also been getting votes, obviously. <laughs> but it's just, it's a very boring situation, and honestly, it makes me kind of despair. I mean, North Korea is spending more and more money on acquiring atomic weapons, and Russia still wants World War Three. I'm pretty sure, but... That has been quiet because all we ever talk about anymore are refugees. Um, I mean, really, it's just outside of the refugee homes. Those stupid people are allowed to stand there and yell at them. And the police is mostly on their side. I mean, really? Really? <sighs> I'm very upset. Uh, and this is not even, you know, the election is passed. It's done. It's We have... Um, twenty-two percent of a right-wing party in our parliament, um, in all of our parliaments, and the really worrying thing is, it's not even stupid people in charge. Stupid people vote right-wing, but uh, the people in charge of this party are very smart and know exactly how to capture those stupid people. It's seriously reminiscent of how the Third Reich started. So that's um, I don't know. We should know better. Okay, um, that said, uh, I also wanted to join in on the whole pronoun debate because uh, I wanted to add my point of view as a German person and my point of view is I have no idea. Um, it's a very interesting question. Uh, I don't know any non-binary people, um, especially not in Germany. Obviously, I know people on Tumblr, but that doesn't really count and they're not German people and the entire discussion is held in English so um, yeah I don't actually know and I really want to know I thought uh, the Spanish thing was very interesting um, I mean we have a similar situation where it's like um, we have female and and, and male uh, word endings but uh, oh, this video is gonna be long um, but uh, you know, um, we also have a third form, which is like neutral, but the neutral usually gets applied to things, and I don't think anyone would want to call themselves by, I, I don't know, equate themselves with a thing, so um, also the plural wouldn't work, because the plural is literally the exact same pronoun as, um, as she, you know, it's uh, uh, sie und ihre, uh, and it's the same thing, uh, so, you know, yeah, I think that's the first time I ever said anything in German in a video, I just noticed, wow, I usually Americanize all those words, like Zeitgeist, which is not pronounced Zeitgeist at all, it's Zeitgeist, <laughs> oh my god, I just, I'm saying German things. Okay, I'm going to stop now. This is scary. <laughs> this has nothing. My videos are never supposed to be in German. Okay. Um, but uh, that said, um, I kind of thought I would tell you about my personal orientation because I don't think I've ever talked about this. Or if I have, it's just been mentioned. It's not that interesting, but I don't know. We've been sharing, so why not? Um, I am mostly heterosexual. I mean, really, most people I'm attracted to are male, um, and uh, but I am bi-romantic. I differentiate between those two things because I definitely fall in love with women all the time. I mean, a lot more than with guys, actually. Um, maybe it's because I'm not attracted to them, and therefore I find it easier because there's no pressure and no expectation of anything ever happening but uh yeah you know 
there's definitely aesthetic appreciation, obviously, but that's for a lot of people that I'm not actually attracted to. Um, actually, I, I kind of rate a little bit on the gray sexual spectrum. I think, um, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. It's actually one part of a relationship that I really do not want. Not because I don't like parts of it, but just not all the time and not. I don't know. This is I'm I'm way oversharing, I'm sorry. Um but yeah. Um I thought I'd mention that. Uh also in light of the uh the novel that I'm writing, which is I might have to make this two videos because we can't upload for anything anything longer than than uh fifteen minutes. Um the novel that I'm writing is actually about a gay couple. Um and I've been wondering a lot whether I'm allowed to write this story because uh, of not being um, anything other than mostly heterosexual myself. Um, oh yeah, the, the thing that I personally call myself is if the love of my wife, my life is going to turn out to be my wife, <laughs> um, I won't complain. I mean, why should I? I just want someone. Um, yeah, um, but I have been thinking about whether I am allowed to give a voice to gay people. There has been a huge discussion on Tumblr because uh, it's like, first, you're, you're supposed to write uh, inclusive books. You're supposed to write diverse books. But then there's also the voice saying, don't take away uh, the actual gay people's voices. I mean, and I get it. I get that they should be able to tell their stories because, of course, um, they just have a way better um, view of the whole thing and um, they didn't get to tell their stories for so long. But at the same time, there's this huge call for diverse books. Um, and obviously, that's kind of a tough situation. Um, personally, I don't feel like I'm writing a gay love story. I feel like I'm writing a love story, but that might be seen as offensive. Um, so this is a whole big weird thing. I mean, I also have, uh, for example, a polyamorous relationship in there. Um, I just, and I'm, I'm not necessarily writing those because I want diverse books. I'm writing them because I feel like, uh, I, I just want to illuminate the different ways um, different relationships can work and and dynamics between people but yeah I'm really unsure because whatever I do I will offend someone which really sucks um, but you know okay 13 minutes I'm gonna stop there I had comments to you guys but I think I'm just gonna post them on Facebook um so, this was my huge political slash something <laughs> video. I will talk to you soon. Bye.